Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Murray Beckham. Framing an image for on-screen viewing via pictures to Exe can look very appealing. And it's a technique that could be applied automatically via a slide style. But there is a problem with the format or aspect ratio of the images and the screen we're using. If we're going to make a slide style that has general appeal, it probably needs to be made to fit the slideshow size we're making. And here is where we hit this aspect ratio snag. The slideshow size is likely to be 16-9 aspect ratio, but the images are more likely to be 3-2 aspect ratio, the format we get from many of our cameras. Those two aspect ratios don't work very well together. So I think we're left with three options. If the images we want to make our slide style for are 3-2 aspect ratio, we could make the frame fit the image, but perhaps not the 16-9 aspect ratio of the screen. This, as you can see here, leaves us with some unused real estate on the left and the right. Now maybe a second option is to allow the distort options within pictures to Exe to make the image fit both the 16-9 frame and the screen. Now this works pretty well on landscapes and seascapes, but not with other types of image content. The third option is to crop the images to the correct size. So the images fill the 16-9 frame and the screen. Now I prefer this last option, but it could be argued that we're now doing enough work on each image that some of the speed and convenience we get from slide styles is lost. Now I think this is a fair point, but we can't make a square peg fit into a round hole, not without doing a bit of work first. Now as you can see here, I've opened up an image into Photoshop and I think it's fairly evident that the image is 3 to aspect ratio. If I go to my crop tool from the toolbar on the left, if we select it, generally speaking, we're going to see the option of width and height resolution here. But if I drop this down and select ratio, there we've got some confirmation that in fact the image is in fact 3 to. We can see that ratio at the top left of the screen. To make this image fit into our frame, we're going to need to make the ratio 6-3. So I can just overtype these values with 6-3. You can see it does mean we have to crop a little from the image, and it does give us the opportunity to reframe the image within the crop shape. Once I'm happy with that though, I can hit the tick on the options bar, and I need to save that as a JPEG in the normal way for use in my slideshow. Now once we've opened up pictures to Exe, there's the image I cropped a few seconds ago at 6.3 format, and here's another just for a little bit of variation. I'll double click both of these, and in fact I'll do them a couple of times to simulate the fact that we've got a number of different images. Because as we know, we can apply a slide style to one or multiple images. So if I go to the left hand end of my thumbnails, hold the shift key and click, there you can see I've got all six thumbnails selected. I'm going to select my slide style, there's the style with frames, there's the one that I've set up for this demonstration, and when I apply it, the images all look good. As you can see, the image looks perfectly well placed within the frame. So cropping our images to a 6-3 aspect ratio is one way that we can make use of a series of slide styles using different types of frames. We could argue that it's not a pixel perfect solution, but it's a pretty good compromise. I've made a series of slide styles using frames that you can download from the slide style section of my website. Just create your images at 6-3 aspect ratio as I've demonstrated here and apply the style. 
Now I've brought you back into pictures to actually here because I've just had one final thought. As you can see in the file list at the center top of the screen, I've got the two images that we cropped to 6.3. But I've also got another image here which is direct from a digital SLR at 3.2 aspect ratio. I think that fact is pretty evident when we compare the physical shape of the two images side by side. If I drag this one down here, one of the options we have is just to apply the frame to this particular image. Let me demonstrate what I mean. If I go to my slide styles and I apply the one we called softwood, you can see because the image hasn't been pre-sized to 6-3 aspect ratio, there's a bit of a problem here. But of course it does give us the opportunity to highlight that particular slide open up the objects and animation screen and as long as we identify the image in question and go to the animation tab we do have the opportunity to increase the size and position this wherever we want because we do get the opportunity via the pan Y to have the image down there up as far as that or positioned anywhere we choose just another alternative. If you're watching on YouTube I'll put a link to my website below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're informed when I post new content. I'll also include a link to all of my audiovisual frames that you can download as a zipped file. Using an image editor like Photoshop you can then use these frames in different ways to suit your projects.